Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. We're gonna do another particle tutorial and we're probably gonna do a whole series of these because the particle system in 2024 is really, really powerful, but it is a bit complex to understand. So we're gonna go through some of these features here. We're gonna go through some conditions and some modifiers and learn exactly how these particle groups work if we wanted to switch from one particle group to another. So huge shout out, first of all, to Alessandro Boncio for sharing this. He is the creator of all of our Octane products, which I'll share at the end. So we're gonna start with a regular old torus, and we're gonna to go to Simulate Emitters Mesh Emitter. And from there, we're gonna to go to the Properties. We're going to go to the Speed and turn that to zero. We'll go back to the Emission tab, and we're gonna change the type of emission to Shot. And we're gonna add three zeros to this, so we got a bunch of particles. And let's turn this torus off just so that we can see the particles here and let's hit play. So it's shooting those particles off in one shot and then we have a bunch of particles. Now you might notice that the edges are a bit jagged. They're not super rounded. This is actually based on the torus subdivision. So if we want this to be perfectly smooth, we can go to that ring uh, segments. We could maybe double that and then we'll double the uh, pipe segments and let's go ahead and refresh and hit play. And now we can see that we have a very smooth torus. All right. so. What we see here is we have a mesh emitter, we have our particle group, and the particle group is attached to this torus. So let's just go ahead and name this torus. So what are these folders here for, these groups? All right, so we're going to add a forces and then a turbulence. Let's make the strength maybe 10 and the scale a bit bigger. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so we have this force affecting the torus, which is great. This is perfect. All right, so let's add another particle group. Go to simulate emitter and basic emitter, and we'll move it to the side here and we'll hit play. And you'll notice that the particles coming out of this second emitter are also being affected by that turbulence. So the turbulence is affecting every particle group in the scene, unfortunately. So that is what these folders are for. Let's go ahead and take this turbulence and let's drag it into this torus folder. This is called a particle group, but it looks like a folder. And now if we hit play, you'll see that the turbulence is only affecting the torus and is not affecting the other particle emitter in our scene. So that's what these folders are for, to keep everything really organized and have things specifically affecting only one set of your particles. So we'll delete this other group here and let's move on to something a little bit more complicated. All right, so we have our particles. Let's add a bit more detail by adding the fields and we're gonna click a linear field and we'll make that a little bit smaller move it over and go to frame one and make a keyframe. We'll go to frame 30 and we'll push this linear field all the way to the other side and make another keyframe. All right, so now our particles are being triggered and they're being affected by this linear field. Let's now say that we want this particle group to change into something else. So we are going to do this by adding a simulate condition. All right, the condition is going to go underneath the turbulence. And you can see that we're beginning kind of a stack here. So the condition has a bunch of different options. We are going to go from the property. You can change the age, color. We're going to go with distance traversed. And the comparison will be greater than. And the value is going to be 20 centimeters. So that means that when the distance of these particles travels more than 20 centimeters each, something will change it will change into something else. But the thing is, it doesn't know what to change into yet, so we have to specify that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to a group, particle group. So we're gonna make a second particle group, we're gonna name this two, and in this particle group, we want to go to our draw. Let's go to override mode and change it to constant, and we're gonna change the particle color here. So now we want the torus to be affected by the turbulence to have a linear field go through it. And as it goes, goes through it, there's a condition where if the particles go more than 20 centimeters, we want it to turn into this group. So we are going to do that with a modifier called the switch group. And the switch group can go inside of the condition as a child. And then the switch group, we need to have a target group, which is gonna be this folder number two. So I hope this is all making sense. But if I hit play, you're gonna see what happens. So we have all of this stack of information going on. We have the linear field, we have the turbulence, it's setting a condition, and then it's switching to this other group which has a different particle color. And the nice thing about this setup is now we can just simply add another force. We're gonna add a rotation, and let's kick up the angle speed a little bit. And we want this rotation to be part of the particle number two group. So now if we hit play, 
you'll see that as they turn colors, we also have this rotation force hitting them. And uh, once you start to get the hang of this, um, it's pretty incredible. So we are gonna come up with some more tutorials based on this in the future, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And like I said, Alessandro Boncio is the creator of all of our Octane products. So if you go to the Pixel Lab, you can check out, we have a ton of different material packs. We have these really great lighting rigs. We have some blemish maps and some other things as well. So check that out at thepixelab.net. I'll put a link below and uh, make sure to check these out because Alessandro is awesome. All right, hope you learned something new. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.